Welcome back to another Random Bits. Um, in this one, I just want to talk about a uh, new asset I've created. One of my most popular videos is uh, this one, which um, talks about using an asset to maintain the aspect ratio for your Unity 2D game so that if you design your screen with a particular look and layout, it doesn't get chopped off on different screen sizes. Unfortunately, um, this component that uh, this video used is no longer available in the asset store. Um, so I have created my own free version. And um, this is just a quick video to show you how that works. Um, so um, first off, you'll need to go uh, to um, GitHub and download um, the asset uh, from the GitHub page. I'll put a link in the notes below. Uh, but all, all you need to do is go down to the releases section um, pick the latest release and uh, click and download uh, this Unity package. Uh, once you've got that package downloaded, uh, we can just switch across to a, a new project. This is just a um, empty 2D project and I'm using a Unity 2019.4.4, uh, which is the latest LTS version of Unity. And then you can go to the assets menu and uh, import package select custom package, and then select the package from wherever you uh, downloaded it to. So in this case, I'm gonna off my desktop and you click open. This will bring up a window here um, and you can just click import. Uh, the asset contains uh, some documentation as well as a demo scene, which you can um, opt out of importing if you want. So we're just gonna import everything. All right, so within the letterbox folder now, uh, the first thing to have a look at is the documentation folder and there is a PDF in here, explains how the component works and uh, gives you step-by-step -step instructions to uh, set up the component, um, how to configure it, and also how to configure any uh, Unity UI you may have so that it works with the component. Um, but I'll show you how that uh, all works shortly. Um, also in the package will be the demo folder and there is a demo scene that you can open, uh, which is this little uh, duck hunt type scene. So if we um, press play, you see that this was set up for a 16 by nine um, resolution or aspect ratio. And if we press play, it looks pretty good. But if, and if we go to something like a five by four, you can see that the component has added these uh, matte bars to maintain the resolution. And this even works if you, for instance, flip it to a nine by six resolution, uh, it maintains the original design rather than chopping off. Okay, so let me show you how this uh, works and how to set up the letterboxer. So here's the uh, demo scene and it doesn't have the letterboxer component installed. And what we can see is it's uh, set up for a uh, 16 by nine aspect ratio and um, this is how um, we intend it to look. However, if we view it under other aspect ratios, um, we can see that we are, in this case, losing the size of the screen. Uh, and depending on the aspect ratio that, we, that the actual screen is set to, this is 16 by nine, so we get what we want. But if we on a five by four, for instance, or on a nine to 16 ratio, we lose a significant amount of the screen, which um, is not what we want. So, uh, and this is what the letterbox component can help us with. Um, so, uh, to set it up, what we need to do is go to the main camera and we click on add and we search for the letterbox component and then we can add the letterbox component. And since we designed our uh, scene to run on a uh, 16 by nine resolution, uh, we can just set that to 16 uh, by nine and we can leave everything as it is. Uh, the other thing we need to do is change the clear flags to solid color. And then under the background here, we can choose the color we want for our matte bars. So I'm gonna make it black. And um, now if we run that, we will see at 16 by nine, we, we get our um, scene as we expect with the curtains quite visible over there. And if we go to five by four, we get the matte bars being added and the um, screen is being maintained. Uh, three by two, the same thing. And if we went to even something extreme like a nine by 16, uh, we get giant matte bars, but the, the screen 
um, design and layout is maintained. Um, so that is pretty much the component. Uh, there's a couple of advanced features. So instead of doing uh, an aspect ratio, you can uh, specify an original resolution that you want to target. And it will then calculate the aspect ratio from that. Um, and you can optionally decide uh, when the component uh, re resizes uh, the screen, which can be on every update frame or just when the uh, app starts. So um, it's okay to leave it on, but if you uh, turn on on update, if you uncheck that, it'll probably run a little bit faster, um, but you might have issues, for instance, if somebody rotates their mobile app mid game. So you probably just wanna leave those as is. Um, and then the last thing I just wanna show you is um, what happens with user, uh, using the UI components. So for instance, if we go to um, game object UI and we add a text field and we press um, F so we can see that and we take that and we're just gonna stick it in the top right corner. Sorry, in the top right corner there um, as a kind of score field. Just gonna switch this back to 16 by nine so we get an idea of where, what it looks like. And we're gonna make this say score 100. Set the color to white. Um, maybe set it to font of 20, or better yet, just press um, best fit. And if we run this now, we see we get it more or less as we expected at 16 by 9. But when we start adding letter boxes, the score starts, uh, the UI starts to get drawn outside um, and you know, not where we expect it to be. Um, so this is a, a pretty straightforward thing to fix. Uh, so firstly, on the canvas, we want to change it from a screen space overlay to a uh, screen space camera so that the canvas is aligned with the camera. Uh, we then need to specify the camera that we're using. So we use our main camera over there. And because we're drawing on the screen, um, zoom in on that one. We may find, uh, because it's now drawn on the same layers as all these sprites, that it lands up, the canvas lands up being behind the sprite. So what we can do is we can shift the order and layer to something like 100 so that it appears in front. And now if we run that, we will see that the score is where we expect it, even on the different aspect ratios. Um, so if we go to something like that, uh, it still remains on the screen. Now the one thing you'll see here is that it's uh, sizing or maintaining the size, which on these smaller screens looks a bit weird, uh, but we can fix that as well. If back on the canvas object, if we go and change the scaler from constant pixel size to something like scale with screen size, um, and then we can give it an indicative uh, screen size we wanna use. Um, in this case, we can do something like um, 960 by 540, which is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Um, and we can see that's what our, our um, score now looks like that. And if we run it, we can change to different aspect ratios and the size is now as we um, designed it. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the component. Um, remember if you uh, like my videos to press like and subscribe and um, if you really want to encourage me to create more videos, um, please uh, join my Patreon. Um, so I will put links uh, to the component, my Patreon page and everything in the description below. Thank you for watching.